I'm in Reseda. I'm driving down the alleys in Reseda. I was just with my boy Chad. You're about to watch this little video. We, uh, he's got a yard full of stuff, man. And I picked up this chair for my leather craft station and my pad. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm kind of stoked with it because I need a I need a decent chair to sit in when I'm doing the work. So this should work out really cool. Anyhow, you know, every time I hang out with Chad, it's just nothing but creative ideas. You need a friend like that. You just bounce one wild idea off of another one nonstop. You know, we could do this. We could do that. You know, Chad's the guy that, uh, you know, really big on making your own stuff. And he does the leather craft. And if it wasn't for Chad, I wouldn't have been even doing these bands right now. You know, and he's making some cool flip flops right now. He had uh, Easter candy. He had those Cadbury eggs. I, I haven't eaten anything today except for two Cadbury eggs, and they're disgusting. <laughs> Everything I tell you not to eat corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, chemicals made me feel so bad my teeth actually hurt right now i won't eat another cadbury egg for 20 years <laughs> anyway i hope you guys enjoy this all right where's that fucking get your back ready get off i don't want to get burnt no no put the whacker in you sure yeah yeah you know give it a slight tap to make sure like nothing's gonna fucking fly okay I don't care if you look at the flame or not. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, I should probably turn the fucking torches on. I forgot that we I put this wall up for you and we made all this happen. Yeah, and it's been great even though it's not a grow room anymore. Like I really utilized the wall as like the divider between this madness and the machine shop. I shouldn't look at this. Oh, you could. Just might go blind. Depends how hard you stare. Well, I've been single for so long. Maybe I should be a little blind. I'll be less, you know, I'd go with the go with the flow. Go with the, any, any man old, or any woman. Old chick won't matter at that point. <laughs> like, hey, well, no penis. It's okay. got a hole. It's I fine. St I still prefer no penis, and I don't want the stinky hole. Say when. Oh, we just fucking blows. Like, yeah, we got we got a minute. So why I'm heating the outside right here is so that metal expands. Right, right. Yeah. I wish I had a bigger sport, but this is the biggest one I got. Give it some little small taps. You got a brown stingray frame up there. Yeah, I painted that one. There was a guy selling a stingray frame for a hundred bucks the other day. I was gonna get it, but. They just don't ever get more expensive than that, you know? All right, give it, give it some wax. There it goes. Don't burn me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's how it's done. Success, boy. Fear the Reaper. 
fear the reaper. Uh, let's try not to run the extension cord. Yeah. Just pick that up and take that outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Will, let me just pull it yeah. with my bare hands. <laughs> I'm almost as dumb as I look. We can't even touch this thing. Oh, you can. This, this is oh, good. you can touch it. I can take this out. Whatever you feel your hands can This take. is a, the base for like a super hyper adjustable uh, bench, uh, seat, stool that I want to use in my apartment at my leather craft station. And this section that you see here is for this circular thing you put your feet on. So as you adjust the height to sit on, you can adjust the part that your feet rest on. It's really super cool. But this was frozen in there. All right, can I not breathe the rest of this shit? No, it's I'm good for you. It's healthy. Right, this thing we can grab the pliers. Yeah. You need a bucket of water for that thing. Buckets of water next to you? Well, there are some over there, yeah. Those giant trucks. Of them. Is that rainwater? Yeah, I collected it. I'm breeding mosquitoes. Look at this t shirt, man. There we go. Check out this sidewinder. Check out this. Are we allowed to show this one off yet? Yeah, just don't show my address. <laughs> He cut head. this, he shrunk all this down, he lifted the bottom bracket on this sucker. He's got the Atom drum brake on the rear. Really, really cool. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, you know what I'll do? Keep it out. I'll put all this yeah, together at the house. Wire brushing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Make it pretty. All right. We're out. All right, the last few days when I come home, there's like four or five flies in here on this window. But this here is one of my favorite things. Oh, yeah. I'm a freaking killer, man. The, the bug assault gun. Get yourself one. It's so much more fun than trying to swat these things. <laughs> and then I just leave the carcasses here, you know, to warn their friends. All right. I hope you guys are getting a kick out of this. I've got to put stuff back in the van, and I want to get that chair, it's in pieces, out of the van and clean it up. And I figured, since I had to pull all this stuff out, I would take a moment to explain how I did the uh, my van build. I've done videos on this before, but a lot of you people are new, so I wanted to explain it to you real quick. Hang on. Let's uh, open the back of this sucker up. You guys can see how this works, and then we'll talk about it. By the way, I just watched uh, Sarge Inc., his name's Jordan. Really nice guy. He's up there in Canada. And he just did his uh, engine mounts. He mentioned me. And I love watching this guy. I don't know what it is about him. He just makes me laugh. I think he's funny. He just goes full bore into things. And I'm always talking to the screen like, oh, man, you got to put those upside down. And then he discovers it in the video. And he's, he admits it. He shows you where he screws up and all that. So he's super honest. Super honest guy. And I think he's very funny. His the commentary on himself and everything is hysterical. So he's he's got over 900 uh, subscribers. He needs to get over a thousand. So uh, I'll tell you what, for the Astro Van community and anybody here, go over there and watch some of his videos. I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you like him, hey man, subscribe. I, I believe in him. He does, every once in a while, he'll do something where he's eating, and he's just he's just funny. I, I was telling him the other day, you should do more of that. So I think he's going to get more entertaining, and I, I think it'll be worth your while. It's like that other guy, like Janky AF. I like that guy, too. He's in the Northeast, and uh, he just, there's something about him just cracks me up. And I like the idea, like some of you guys like, you guys will mention to me that you kind of like that you've been here all along, and you're watching the growth happen. You know, because eventually we'll be there. Eventually we'll all be there. And it'll all be because of you. 
So it's kind of cool to watch these guys before they even have a thousand subscribers and be part of that and support them. And, and uh, you know, let's help lift everybody up. Let's do a good thing for everybody. So let me explain the system for you here. Open this, I'll put you on, a, on this thing here. I was talking to Jordan the other night, and I did. I was like, dude, don't be a pussy. <laughs> it's like, he was just talking about not getting to things. And he mentioned that in his video. It just made me laugh. Very, very funny guy. So my system in this van here is, I think it's a, it was a pretty cool idea. And what I did was I did a built-in here. And a built in on that side. And all that is is three quarter inch plywood. There's no framing or anything. Three quarter inch plywood is enough for you to build to. I've got sliding doors built into it. I have to open you guys up a little bit here. So I've got stuff like this here. All right. Pretty neat. I didn't put one here. Uh, I don't need a hatch on this one, but I might put one. I'm going to put some of my cooking pots and things in here. Uh, right now, they're up front in another cabinet. And I have these risers that I had to put in when I got the fridge, the first fridge. You see this chair over there. This is linoleum. This is not vinyl. This is the stuff that you see in hospitals. This repels dirt. And this is just a platform I made. <clears throat> it's manufactured. It's one inch hardwood skinned with half inch on each side. There's hinges on it so it'll fold up, but I don't really do that. I made these trays to fit on the bedding. Typically this sleeping bag is on the top and then the ferny pad goes over it. The furniture pad is just here to protect everything. But it's a little too puffy with this here. The idea with this is all the stuff that's underneath here, tools and such, when I need to load this out, I can take that stuff. Typically I'll just throw it up on here. Then I can load lumber and everything, sheets of plywood, whatever I want in there. Because I also have this heavy duty rack system, a lot of the time I just throw that stuff up on the roof. It's easy for me, for me to do that. Things have changed now. Uh, what I do now is um, I open that and then I use this step that I made here to get up on the roof. So every time I get on the roof, I just open that now. And then I'm finding that I've, I'm putting a foot on the tire, too. <clears throat> but anyhow, I just thought you guys might find this interesting. Um, a lot of guys, they put the bed on this side, and they're sleeping what you would call north-south. Uh, I'm 5'9". I can fit this way straight barely, but if I sleep a little bit on an angle, it's no problem at all. And it just it gives me a lot more room inside the van. So, again, I just wanted to show that off. Uh, so you understand it's going to change by the way. There's a lot more I need to do inside this van if You guys don't remember the ceiling uh, The wood you know what I think I'll include a couple pictures. I'm just gonna say right now You just saw the pictures <laughs> Before I started this clip in this video then I'm, I'm, I might have shared a couple snapshots of the wood that I milled for Chad and that's what I did this morning. I had to go to Chad's place. This was loaded almost all the way up here, just solid wood, uh, six feet long, solid. So I made this shape. Yeah, screw it. Hang on a second. All right, so the way that the roof works is I made these parts that are in mahogany, and they're shaped like this. Okay, so you got the skeleton of the van, and then I screw those parts to that. Okay, these parts are screwed up there, and then between them, the ceiling panels fit. Okay. And then I put screws through the mahogany. They're screwed directly to the skeleton, the frame that holds up the sheet metal on the roof. 
you're looking straight down here, you're looking straight on here. And these panels are just free flowing. That's what you're seeing inside the van. So I used riv nuts into the metal to put the bolts. And the, uh, this is, uh, you would call this an aromatic cedar that it's all book matched. I milled all that. I only had like three boards and I ripped it in half on the bandsaw and I milled that up and I glued them back together. So when it gets real hot, the inside of this van smells great and it looks pretty good. And you don't have a whole bunch of screws like you see in other ceilings on van builds. And if I pull a couple screws, the whole, these two panels will come out, that rib will come out. I could run wiring, whatever I want, it goes right back, no problem. So I just, there's going to be more on this build as I get to it. But right now, let me get these chair parts out. I got to clean them up, get this chair together uh, so I can use it. I'll show you some of that in a minute. So uh, another thing about this build is it's one of the carpets. I've got three of these carpets. They are two feet, six inches uh, deep by four feet wide, approximately. So three of them fill this area perfectly. And the beauty of them is you can take them out, shake them out, vacuum it, them out, hose them off, clean them, put them back. And it turns out there's a lot of carpets that are that size. I'm going to get, I don't like, I never like these. I never like that pattern. That was a 99 cent store buy. And I bought it because I went in a 99 cent store one day and they had them. And I just threw them in. But I was on Amazon not long ago and I found some other ones. One of the things with this build is I'm trying to keep away from uh, oil-based products just because I don't like them. I don't like wearing polyester. I wear all cotton or some silk or cotton silk blend or wool. I wear a lot of wool. And uh, with, that's why I put the linoleum in there. And so with these rugs, I'd like to find something. I don't know if it's going to be possible, but I'd like to find something that was more of a wool rug if that exists all right keep in mind too in your van if you have oil-based products that's flammable you might want to stay away from that all right so i'm going to take the grinder i'm going to clean up the shaft here uh, that goes in the base of this chair and then this part here i'm going to hit this with some far out steel wool and wd-40 and then i'm going to put everything back together with some grease here I wanted to talk about real quick this Lifesaver Jerry Can. This thing will filter up to, oh boy, iPod, uh, 300,000 gallons of water. And it's got a pump on it. It's pretty cool. Uh, I had water in this from the Saline Valley. I dumped it months ago, but I left it in there for quite some time and it got kind of moldy. Now, you couldn't see mold inside there. But you could smell it and you could taste it. And the directions say you have to leave water in this thing to keep the uh, filter system working. If you let it dry out, it won't work anymore. And the filter system is the most important or the most expensive part of this whole thing. That has me slightly concerned. Uh, I'm going to get some bleach. I'm going to take the filter system out, flush it, dunk it a bunch of times, clean out this can, and, you know, use it. But uh, if you guys know anything else about it, let me know. So just... Putting that out there, I am happy with the product. The idea with this is if you have this anywhere you go, if you have a water source, you have clean, safe drinking water. That's the key. Right, let's get to this.
try your kegel exercises with this thing. <laughs> so another reason you don't throw anything out, this emery cloth here was from when I did my spindles on my Astro van when I converted the front wheel disc brakes. That's how long I've had this. Over 20 years. So you can use the uh, the grinder here with the wheel to get the rust off, but the pitting stands proud of the steel. So you kind of want to smooth it so it'll fit back in that tube. It's lickety split. No big deal. simple. Let's go over this real quick. Yeah, I don't think uh, you could use this for Kegel exercises. I just, I think this thing weighs like, you know, five or six pounds. I don't know. That would be, I don't think you'd want to go out with that woman. I mean, it would be dangerous. If you could walk around with this in there, that, that would just be crazy. Though, you know. Am I like crossing the line here? <laughs> so yeah, it was fun being over at Chad's today. I really enjoy spending time there. It's just we we're, we have so many similar interests. The thing is, is like we start talking, man, and like hours could go by. And I had to get back here and do something. Um, I did just hose off those carpets over there and they're I don't know if they're gonna be dry by the time I'm done with this. I was hoping to get the van reloaded so that tomorrow I can just start working right from the house. But I think I'm gonna have to come back here tomorrow to reload up the van. Alright, this is good enough. I'm gonna clean up the part that uh, the foot rest next and then we're gonna put this thing together. I think it's gonna be cool. I think it's gonna be cool. I may have misspoke like I tend to do. Uh, I don't know if I said my, I converted the Astro to disc brakes. No, 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 no. It comes with disc brakes. I had a 67 Dodge pickup, 318 V8. I drove that thing around for over 20 years here in LA and several years into owning it, I did a front disc brake conversion to that. They don't sell it. Some guy made these backing plates and then uh, you had to sand down your spindle to get that to fit. And then he had a list of parts that you went and bought that came off of three different vehicles. And it was like GM calipers and all kinds of kooky parts, but it worked. It was awesome. So it was the Dodge that I did the, the sanded the, the, the uh, spindles down on, not the Astro van. All right, so yeah, old Chrome, WD-40, four-aught steel wool here. I don't even care about getting all the rust off. It's just about getting a little bit. It's just been out in the yard getting rained on. And there was like spiders in here I had to clean out. And spider babies. I've done this to a lot of Schwinn parts over the years. Handlebars, cranks, sprockets. Just a little elbow grease. And... Uh, Makes it look a lot better. I'm not trying to restore it. I'm just going to make it okay. Stay tuned. All right, so I cleaned up pretty well. I figured I'd show you this. This is the bottom of the seat. I threw some white lithium grease at the end of this on there. I've already put that, uh, that Kegel exerciser in the tube and put a bunch of lithium grease in that. This is the mechanism that adjusts the height, it's the stop for it. 
and there's a set screw. This is a cast, like a plastic on the bottom here. And this company here, it looks like that says Kramer Industries. It's out of Kansas. So I'm showing you that because I need a seat cover for this. I could probably make one, but if anybody's aware of this, I'll look it up. But you see there's like this kooky cable spring system. <clears throat> that's what holds the seat cover on. So that means that that's replaceable and they might exist somewhere in a warehouse or something. Let's see if we can get this together. Mm -hmm. first part this is pretty cool oops I didn't want to do that the way this works is you just rotate this and it stops pick it up drop it so the the pin goes in this slot and locks in place this part here is really neat So this screws in here. I love this heavy duty stuff. I gotta get a crescent wrench out. But the idea is you hit this and you can unlock it or lock it. Really cool and super heavy duty. Okay, I'm just That's pretty cool. This rotates any old way. Neat. That's really neat. And you can see how tough this is. That's really cool. Let's put the seat on it and see what happens. A lot of adjustment on this. And then there is a set screw. Got to get a screwdriver. All right, let's get this set screw in place. I'm dropping everything today. <clears throat> this apron. This apron's great if you're standing up working, but if you're bending over a lot, it's a hassle. Wee! Wee! It's like a ride at the it's like it's like being at Disneyland. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll put a towel on it for now, you know? That's a pretty heavy duty system there. That's pretty cool. Anyhow, that's it. All right, go ahead and follow uh, Sarge Inc. Check out Janky AF, it might not be your thing, but uh, I like them. I think that they're good fellas. And look up uh, Dave Vaughn too. Dave Vaughn Enterprises, the rat's nest. Look for that. He has been kind of lazy. <laughs> He's just been slow to post videos. And my boy Chad, Mr. Tick, Mr. Tick Bicycle Products, he is doing some Instagram 
It's Reno underscore, underscore K-C-I-T. Reno underscore K-C-I-T. Uh, check him out. He's making some cool stuff. And Chad has some real skills with this editing thing, so I think uh, his videos, when they start coming out, are going to be really good. He's got one out there, I think it's called The Kill Machine, and it's got to be 10, 15 years old. It's a short, uh, but it's like a little mini movie. The way he put it together was really cool. And uh, that's it for now. You guys have a great day. Thanks for being here. I'll catch you all in the next one. I need that cover. <laughs>